Now consider a B plus tree in which the order of the non-leaf nod M equals 3 and the order of the leaf nod N equals 2. Then if M equals 3, the minimum number of children required in a non-leaf nod is seal of M by 2, seal of 3 by 2 which is 2. Hence the minimum number of keys required is 2 minus 1, hence 1. And in a leaf nod, the minimum number of keys is seal of N by 2 which is seal of 2 by 2, 1. Hence the same number of keys, the minimum number of keys required in every nod is same which is 1. Now we need to delete 5 from this B plus tree. The search always starts from the root 5 less than 7 greater than 1. We have reached this leaf node. 5 is present in this leaf node. We didn't encounter the key on the way on any internal node. So no need of any replacement. And the deletion of 5 from this leaf node will never cause any underflow because it has more than the minimum number of keys required. Minimum number of keys is 1. So just delete 5. Now suppose we need to delete 12. Deleting 12 will cause a node underflow, a leaf node underflow. So the first option is key redistribution. The underflow node should try to borrow a key from its sibling node. Here it has one sibling, one left sibling and this sibling has more than the minimum number of keys required. Minimum number of keys required is one. The sibling node has two keys. The, the sibling node will be able to provide a key to the underflow node. And this redistribution and merging, everything is done through rotation. It's done through the parent. So consider it as a rotation so that it will be similar to the case of the internal node. We have deleted 12. There is underflow on this node. So now to distribute the key, 9 from the parent will come down. But here we need key along with the data pointer and this 9 will go up. And finally replace with the proper separator key. Here the separator key should be 8. So here the underflow node borrowed a key from its sibling node and a proper separator key is placed on the parent. In other words all the keys got redistributed among these three such that every node is having at least the minimum number of keys required. This is how leaf node key redistribution is done. Now suppose we need to delete 9. Deleting 9 will again cause an underflow which is a leaf node underflow. The minimum number of keys required is 1. There are no keys in this node. So the first option is try to borrow. This underflow node has one sibling, the left sibling, but this sibling has exactly the minimum number of keys required. It has only one key. Thus the sibling node is not able to provide the key to the underflow node. So the next option is merge. The sibling node will be merged to the underflow node through the parent. So consider this also as a rotation. All the three will be merged into a single knot. So here both the data correspond to the same. Both these keys correspond to the same data. Hence we need the final data is just one eight with its corresponding record pointer. And there will be nothing in the parent and the other node will also be deleted. So both the nodes will merge into a single node and there will be nothing in the parent. The content of the parent will also be merged into the single node. So here we can see this leaf node merging has led to an underflow in this internal node. The internal node require minimum number of keys 1. As a result of this leaf node merging, now this internal node is not having the minimum number of keys required. So an underflow has occurred on this internal node. So now we need to handle the underflow on this internal node. For that first this node should try to borrow a key from its sibling node or it should try for key redistribution. 
Here it has one sibling which is the left sibling and the left sibling has more than minimum number of keys required. It has two keys. Thus one key can be provided to this underflow node and the key redistribution will be done through the parent or as a rotation. Thus 7 will come down and 6 will go up. And when 6 is moved to the right, along with 6, the right child of 6 will also be shifted to the right and will be placed to the left of 7. The resulting B plus tree is this. Thus the keys got redistributed among all the three such that every node is having at least the minimum number of keys required. Thus we saw the cases of leaf node redistribution, leaf node merging and internal node redistribution. Next let's see internal node merging. Suppose we have to delete 8. 8 is greater than 6, greater than 7. It's present on this leaf node and the deletion of 8 will lead to a leaf node underflow. Thus the underflow node, the leaf underflow leaf node should try to borrow a key from its sibling but there is no enough keys on the sibling so the next option is merge. All the three will be merged into a single node and there will be nothing in the parent. The only data will be 7 with its corresponding record pointer. So this leaf node merging has led to an underflow in this internal node because this internal node requires minimum one key. As a result of merging there is nothing in this parent. To handle this internal node underflow, this internal node should try to borrow a key from its sibling. But the sibling node now has only one key, thus it cannot provide a key to this underflow node. So the next option is to merge. And this merging will also be done through the parent as a rotation. Everything will be merged into single. There will be nothing in this parent. 6 will come down and both these nodes will get merged. Now we can see here there is an underflow on the root node. But we cannot borrow anything because there is no sibling and we cannot merge with a sibling. So the last option is to reduce one level. Hence one level will be reduced and the final B plus 3 is this.